how to use MailChimp with Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up the connection between your favorite uh, email or SMS uh, campaign or ad campaign maker, which is going to be MailChimp, which is the leader, I think, in my opinion, or my personal opinion, for um, getting up the uh, ad campaigns for emails or promotion with your Squarespace website. So it is very easy. Head over to squarespace.com, select your account or sign in into your account, then select the account dashboard. Once you're here, you're going to see all the websites that you have created. I'm going to select one of the websites. Here it will load up only in just a few seconds. From here, what are we going to do is to uh, set up the connection between our MailChimp and Squarespace first. Then we are going to set it up as a newsletter. Now, so we are going basically to use a uh, MailChimp or Squarespace to collect uh, some email addresses for, uh, or in exchange for newsletters. And these emails or contact emails are going to be uh, rather um let's say uh whether the um source of the uh, campaign that we are going to set uh later now what are we going to do is to click on the gear icon here you're going to see the settings now we have the marketing for the third party apps uh the third party tools you can go ahead and uh, set this like this click on extensions now what are we going to see here is the lots of uh, apps that are available and the first one is going to be under the uh, label of sales and marketing we have mailchimp we are going to click on it and what are we going to do is you click on connect basically it will log in into your um, mailchimp account so we are going to click on login and we are going to set up our account I'm going to give myself a minute to set up the connection and we'll be back. So basically we are going to click on finish syncing or synchronization with uh, Squarespace Commerce. We are going to click on that. Here we have our um, account of MailChimp set up. It is already saved into my navigator. Here we are going to give the consent to share our Squarespace data with MailChimp sign into our Squarespace account and sit back and relax while they bring your Squarespace data into MailChimp. So we are going basically to let here or permit the uh, data exchange between uh, these two platforms. So basically MailChimp will get the email addresses that are set up from Squarespace. We're going to click on continue. And here it will log in and let us select our website that we need to set up the connection from. Obviously it will not remember the source. So we are going to click on allow here. And basically we are going to see uh, that when you are going to allow that it, I mean, it is going to set up the connection. Maybe it will take a little bit of time from you from one to three minutes, or maybe it will not. So I'm going to click on continue again, and we're going to see this time permission. What is it? And it is going to set up the connection as normal. So here we have the linked audiences or the audience. Here we have Jack audience for the specific name of that website. We can review the import uh, selected contacts for a type from Squarespace and map Squarespace contact. This is something that we can review or select the subscribed and subscribed and others or i'm going to let up here all the um as you can see uh choices because i'm not going to need much from the uh, making some choices because it is okay now i'm going to click on save click on sync now and normally this synchronization is going to be set now here we have the Jack Affiliate website connected. We have the customers, subscribers, product orders, whatever are here. So now what are we going to do is to head over the website of ours. 
and we are going to click again here we are going to refresh the page normally we are going to see that our um, account is linked to our squarespace third party tools and here we have it now it is connected so we are going to click on here on edit website select maybe a page that we are going to add a newsletter in so we are going to click on add section i'm going to select here a blank section and i am going to make the background or the color to something similar to this one we can go ahead and make it a little bit lighter so now what are we going to do is to add a block select newsletter we're going to set it up as this i know that we have one on the footer but i would like to put it like this this is better now i'm going simply to double tap on here everything is set up everything is perfect you can go ahead and design this for you whatever the something that is interesting me in this one is the storage so you're going to get the storage of the emails put in right here so what are we going to do is to transfer the data or the email addresses that are going to be signed up here on this box to our mailchimp space or the dashboard hours here i meant now i am going to click on squarespace and here we have it as you can see i'm not going to put it like that i'm going to disconnect it so i will not going to get the email or the storage into squarespace but i am going to select other storage option and we are going to get mailchimp zapier or google drive basically we are going to choose mailchimp you're going to click on connect and you're going to set it up uh, like that like setting up the username the password and etc so we are going to do that from scratch again i don't know why it, it did not recognize the account but it is okay so we are going to allow whether the exchange or exchange of data click on allow and normally we are going to get the authorization so we have here the list you are going to select the list you can require the double opt-in or the confirmation of the email on and off it is up to you i'm going to disable that and this is set up to uh, jack's audience as you can see on mailchimp so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one